Hello everybody, this is Danny J. I thought you might enjoy this real life session from the Wreck-It Ralph movie that I recorded the lead and background vocals on uh, a little over a year ago. This all began with Disney calling my buddy Jerry Buckner, who was a member of Buckner Garcia that had the hit Pac-Man Fever years ago. And I'm singing this as a member of Buckner and Garcia. Jamie Houston is the writer on this song. He was the producer and writer on a lot of the High School Musical tracks. So this is the way it all went down. This is the first session that you're seeing here where it had just begun. So let's get started. First of all, I loaded uh, the MP3 demo track in the sonar by going to File, Import, Audio, and went to the proper place on my hard drive and then hit Open and imported it onto that first track right, that you see right there. Then I decided to put a track of electric rhythm trying to make this more into a Pac-Man, uh, Buckner and Garcia type track. So as you can see on track three, this is a rhythm guitar part. A rhythm guitar, electric rhythm guitar. And then I put in a lower drone electric guitar. Just to give it a little heavier sound. Uh, also in the middle, I thought it needed, we talked about putting in a little guitar solo, so up here, I went in and loaded up guitar rig in one of the uh, effects, and as you can see here, I went through and just picked out a pop sound. I wasn't trying to get the final product, just trying to get an idea, so loaded up guitar rig and picked a patch in there and added a little bit of delay with the um, Sonitas delay that comes with sonar. And I adjusted the mix and a few of the different settings on this delay just to try to get some sort of a guitar sound that would work. Here's the... Uh, just a little simple solo to fill up the space in the middle. So you've got, now we've added uh, Now we've added two rhythm guitars, a lead guitar, and here's a fourth guitar. That's just another holding guitar. I also added a hi-hat symbol to get a little bit more of that in there. Uh, here's some tom fills that were added. Snare drum. Just to give it a little more pop. In the they were added with the plug-in battery. And as you can see, you've got... These are the flattened audio tracks from battery for the drums. And then this is the MIDI track for the drum parts that I added, which were actually just mixed in with the other drums in the final product. So this was the very first session where we worked on this song. You can see there was a lot of work put into this and it was only the beginning. And in the next video, I'll show you the next incarnation of this session. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on part two. For more videos like this, go to cakewalktips.com.